Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hi, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, bringing you some more mini scheme, money plays, whatever you want to call it. I got another video for you with some really good plays in it out of the Detroit Lions playbook. Now, the Lions was actually requested about an hour before I did uh, a mutt draft, and I basically picked the Lions playbook. I don't know if that dude subconsciously seeped into my brain, and I was like, let me just pick that so I can kind of test this out live lab it against competition but either way uh it, that's, it pays to speak up in the comment section I, on my uh description it says at the top line every time let me know what you guys want me to work on next and i got a pretty good list of uh playbooks um right now that people want me to work on uh things like the eagles falcons um dallas uh, Green Bay, really popular, uh, stuff like that. They're, they're the ones that I'm probably going to work on uh, in the immediate future. Other than that, though, like I said, let me know in the comment section if you have anything, you know, tip videos you need help with, whatever. Um, so put that down there. But I do have to address that as far as full playbooks go. It's a little bit too early for me to be releasing full playbooks. I will have ebooks uh, available in September in my, on my Patreon, but that's a different story entirely. So that'll be full breakdowns. But as far as like full length uh, videos, that's going to come out kind of slow because I got I to gotta learn these playbooks. So let's go ahead and let's get into the first play uh if you guys want to see part two of this hit the like button or like i said check it out on my patreon this is going to be a very long scheme uh, i got a couple plays that i really like i'll start off with one of the more simple ones here uh the first one at the top there the sale we'll go ahead and we'll pick that i don't know if i actually mentioned the name of this uh formation it's the uh it's uh, i'll bring it up later i guess i already went past it so we'll keep we'll go three four because we've got a match and I'm right down in the box there. Sorry, right, so real simple. Um, this is a pretty decent setup the way that it is. I can't say that this formation is too different than things that, that have been in Madden's past. Uh, but one thing that is different, though, is the route that Ebron is running. That route, it looks like an in route, but it's way deadlier than in route. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but the way that that arch, the way that that curls uh, the pattern, is just gets this huge acceleration boost, and it works really well. You can leave him in like that. And I'm trying to motion him out. Or you can motion him out here. Um, and he's going to do a really good job of getting open. You know, give him a little bit of space. But that's a really good route. Ebron's a great tight end to run that with anyway because of his speed. But either way, I'm going to leave it in. Uh, the way that I really like to run it. I didn't know Matt Asiata was on this team. The way that I really like to run it is I like to motion this running back out um, over to uh, to where Jones is here. And then put him on a, uh, a flat route. Now, one thing I noticed about this play, and it's really weird, is sometimes when you motion the running back, you get a different result. Like here, he didn't get close. Sometimes when you motion him over for some reason, he he set he resets the other receivers. And I don't know what it is, but uh, sometimes when he doesn't do that, he runs the route really weird. So let's see what happens here. But it's a really simple cover two scheme. You got your low route, which is the triangle, your high route, which is the red route. Uh, one of those two going every time. And then Ebron is an outstanding check down uh, because, like I said, it's, it's just so much better than a regular in route. So he did run it funny. I don't know. I had to take the check down. I didn't bother to go through the reads because he did run that funny. I don't know what it is, but it's like you can tell right away. So watch when I motion this guy. He's, if he if he doesn't he doesn't reset the the receivers. It's really kind of weird. I don't know why he doesn't do that. Sometimes he does. Sometimes he doesn't. And then when he doesn't reset the receivers, he just runs the route really bad. Um, he didn't do it again. So it's all good though. I mean, the top route got open. They both get open eventually. But the speed is what I'm talking about. He usually gets open faster. Yeah, I went ahead and I moved the ball. I mean, it's going to pay to move the ball. I'm starting to notice a pattern here. I'm starting to notice that when the ball is to the open... When you're, when you're running this to the open side of the field is, I think, when the running back alters what the receiver is doing. It's really weird. I've never seen that in previous Maddens. But now it seems to depend on where you are on the field. But either way, you want to run this from the open side of the field, obviously, because there's nothing on the other side of the field. And then we'll just uh, we'll do our regular setup. But that's kind, of, that's kind of strange. It's something to know, something to take notice of. Um, that, that, that that tight end route is just so dirty. He's just wide open. He just breaks whoever's in front of him. So I would say if you have a good running back that has some speed, um, it might be best uh, it might be best to put him in something like this because the way that he's running that route on the flat is just not really working out. But either way, put it, you have several different options there. Yeah, this is a, and since these routes get open pretty much every time, this is a really good uh, time to use that new uh, that new playmaker feature. As you can see, I can curl that off, and he's not going anywhere near the safety. But not a lot of people know how to do that. Uh, but that's something that if you are good at doing, uh, this is a really good play to do it. They'll do it a couple more times here. He's just wide open. I just use that new feature. Um, you know, that's going to be money every time. 
The next play I want to show is the PA boot comeback. This is a really good uh, play right here. It's one, it reminds me of a play from the Ravens playbook last year. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick that. Keep going 3, 4, and random. So basically, this play here, that doesn't really take a lot of changes. I can run it just like this. Uh, you're really playing the slot receiver off the tight end. I mean, that's really your look. Uh, one of those two is going to be open every time as I get a nice big play here on the first. Oh, man, I thought he was going to carry, <laughs> I was gonna carry two guys for a touch. Uh, but that's the read. You're just looking high and low, which, which is Ebron and Jones. Um, and there's, that's really your only options. Uh, where here we're going to get uh, Ebron. Can we get in? Can we get in? I'm going to say that was in. I don't care if it was or not. It's in. I'm going to say it was even though I'm not 100% sure. Um, but this year, I mean, pass lead that up a little bit. And you see how there's a huge gap the play action provides. So let's go ahead and let's just run this a few times. There's no real adjustments. I will show you one adjustment here in a minute. Um, as you see, you know, that, that was not the best read. But either way, I'll show you one adjustment that, that I like, which is uh, putting Tate on a uh, an out route and then smart route him. I think that just helps a little bit. It's nothing huge, though. It really doesn't do a whole lot. Yeah, I'm at the possession catch that so I don't get blasted. But you see how the Titans wide open. So if anything, too, if I want to get rid of the play action, because the play action isn't, isn't always the smart play. Um, you can motion him back over here, uh, but I, I think that, uh, if anything, you want to put him across the tight end's face to try to pull coverages again and create more windows of separation. As you see here, there's so much going on. That, that linebacker is just kind of lost. He doesn't know what to do. Uh, but this is one way that I would like to run. I'll show you a second way here in a second. But you see, once again, he has that effect. You put him in a drag, too. It really doesn't matter. It just has to go opposite field because this side's pretty much full, and you don't want to get in the way of anything else going on. So um, this is how I would do it. And we have a nice open receiver here, but you know what? He's just not fast. It is what it is. But uh, if you know that's that's the way that I'd run if you want to if you want to mirror the motion from the first play. Another thing I would do is I'd motion him out. I think a slant's decent if you want to motion him over here. Um, I don't think he gets in the way too much. Uh, you see, he comes open underneath. I actually hit the wrong button, and he caught it anyway. Let's go, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, if you motion this running back over, um, and then put him in a slant. Like I said, I didn't really I'd make that first read or make that first play too good. But he'll come open underneath where the tight end left typically. Uh, or the tight end will just keep being open because that's just a great route. That's been one of the best routes in Madden for a couple years now. So I didn't show any run plays. I think I'm going to do that with the halfback stretch here. Pretty good play. We'll go 3-4. Uh, All right, so this first one's going to be real quick because there's nothing really crazy about it. All you're going to do really is motion this guy over. Um, you can, if you want, flip the play. Uh, but I find it's going to be best. Just motion the receiver over, um, you know, just to get yourself some outside blocking. And we're going to Jake. Oh, oh, man, there was another guy came on too quick. But you saw we got Jukes. But, um, but you definitely, like, this looks like a man. Uh, in this scenario, it's not essential to motion a guy over. I mean, oh, there was a hole right there. I'm just not hitting it. I'm just not hitting it. Yes, I am. Oh, come on. That should have been a touchdown. Jesus Christ. Of course, Adrian Amos is one of the fastest uh, cornerbacks in the game. But like I said, if it's a man coverage, leave the way it is. If it's a zone coverage, motion a receiver over. It's that simple. Uh, you see they're reacting to the uh, corner, but... Or the receiver. Oh, my goodness. There's the blocks. There's the blocks. There's the blocks. Come on. Let's get that first touch. Let's go. Oh, man. Running is OP in this game. Uh, here, once again, we got a man coverage. So I'm just going to leave it as is. Just got to get that edge. Just got to seal that block. I mean, why is running so easy in this game? Why? Why? <laughs> so, um, like I said, real simple reads. Here, we got a stage coming down the box. So in this scenario, I might want to motion a guy over just to kind of move him back. I'm not sure if that's a safety or a corner. Uh, but either way, I'm running right into that. So I probably want to go back. This is all pre-snap read. I probably want to go back, leave it the way it is, flip the play the other way, just because that safety is probably going to going to cut me off uh, with a blitz. So, you know, here, just get to the second level. We'll just make a guy miss, which is way too easy in this game, in my opinion. <laughs> In my opinion, and you got yourself a really good play. So that's play number one. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next one because there's not a lot to that. Uh, it's really just all about the pre-snap reads. Yeah, stretch plays are good because they hold up their blocks that much better than other plays like toss plays and stuff like that. Plus, running in this game is just super OP anyway. So let's go ahead and let's move on to some passing plays.
just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.